The narratives and depictions of European travelers provide a picture of the daily lives of the Greeks in Turkish-occupied areas, as do many local cottage industry products. Organized into local communities, the Greek populations rallied round the twin poles of their community authorities, which, apart from collecting taxes, did important administrative work, and the church, the only institution that operated smoothly in the Greek areas right up to the liberation. The church was the most important vehicle for historical continuity, thanks to the educational role it had exclusively assumed. In the new conditions shaped by the Turkish occupation, the social life of the Greeks was limited to religious ceremonies, which were faithfully observed in a spirit of national unity. Patron saints were adopted in each area, the most common being St. George in mountain areas and St. Nicholas by the sea. Customs and feast days regulated all stages of people's lives and their daily habits. Every type of celebration was marked by a feast, which involved large crowds, food and drink, music and dancing. These gatherings bound communities closer together and increased their sense of local identity. Musicians would accompany the dancing crowds on their instruments. By the 17th century, the economy of the Greek regions was beginning to recover. Livestock farming developed in the mountain regions at household, local and large-scale nomadic level. The customs and beliefs of these livestock farmers are recorded on their carved wooden tools and utensils. Those who lived on the plains were mainly arable farmers. In coastal and inland areas, people engaged in fishing and, from the 17th century onwards, in trade and shipping. Many coastal cities developed into great maritime centers and Greek mariners became highly sought after. Greeks were equally successful in overland trade and flourishing Greek communities soon sprang up in the large cities of Europe and the Balkans. Along with their merchandise, they disseminated the ideas of the Enlightenment which led to a renaissance of education and prepared the ground for the struggle for independence. 